Hi everyone, I'm Rinsey and this is Rinsey Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on Exit West by Mohsen Hamid. In this story you are mainly following these two young people. One of them is this woman named Nadia who is like fiercely independent in a way that isn't really common in her country. She wears like a full body covering despite the fact that she's not very religious but she has reasons why she chooses to wear it but she also like rides a motorcycle and goes to school and things like that um she lives by herself and lies to people and says she's a widow <laughs> as to explain and get permission to be able to live by herself and then there is this young man named Saeed he sees Nadia in one of his classes and basically just falls for her. They start a relationship, but they are living in this war-torn country. As their country starts to sort of fall apart, they're forced to make some difficult decisions about their relationships and the way that they're living. You know, like their basic necessities start to be taken away from them. There's a point where they no longer have cell phones that are usable in the country because there's like a lack of electricity and there's no like cell phone coverage anymore, things like that. So because their country has sort of fallen apart, they are forced to make difficult decisions about their lives and they choose to leave the country eventually and then you follow them with all of the choices that they make and you see them as refugees in another country. If you watch my readathon wrap up, you already know that I love this book. I'm a big fan of Mohsen Hamid. The first book I read from him was How to Get Filthy Rich in Rising Asia and I gave it a five star rating because I loved it so much. It completely blew me away. The thing that I like about Mohsen Hamid a lot is that he really plays with a reader's expectations of the story that you're getting. In his book The Reluctant Fundamentalist, uh, he provides a conversation between two people and by the time you get to the end of the book you realize that your sort of preconceived notions about what's happening in the story is not at all what's happening in the story. And then in How to Get Filthy Rich in Rising Asia he writes it in second person and he writes it in the style of like a self-help book. So I think what Mohsen Hamid does really really well is he writes in a way that's sort of vague but still really grounded. So it provides the reader the opportunity to place themselves in the story and place themselves in a story that they normally would not necessarily place themselves in. If you think of really great writers who write about like the Middle East or who write about Muslims and have like sort of broken through here in like the Western world so to speak. Writers like Khaled Hussini. Reading it from a Western point of view you have a little bit of distance from the story. While you're sympathetic towards the characters and while you're sympathetic towards the situations there is a little bit of separation there. What Mohsen Hamid does is he places you like right as the protagonists of these stories so you are like right in the middle of it, right in the midst of it and it makes you much more empathetic towards the situations that he's writing about. So here he's talking about refugees. Another thing that he does in the story that's really interesting is that in every chapter there are sort of these breaks from the main story and you hear you read sort of like little short stories about other people around the world and what Mohsen Hamid is doing is he's playing with your idea of who is a refugee and who you consider to be a migrant and who you consider to be an immigrant and who you consider to be worthy of the places that they're living and things like that. A lot of people are talking about the timeliness of this book and that's definitely true because refugees have been a big part of the news but if you think about the history of the world or even like the history of the past like a hundred years there have always been some sort of migrant situation or some sort of refugee situation happening um, whether it be Jewish people being forced out of the various countries that they've lived in or you think of the Vietnamese or even like Koreans to other countries or Middle Easterners or whoever there's been situations all over the world of people have being forced to migrate from their home because of war-torn situations and so I feel like this is one of those books that's very timely but it's also very timeless at the exact same time. Yeah, Mohsen Hamid is just like a fantastic writer. I think the one recommendation that I would give to anyone who wants to pick up this book is try to read as much of it in one sitting as possible. Um, I read it over the course of I think it was like three days, like three different evenings I read it and I think that hindered the experience for me slightly because the way this book is written it kind of puts like a spell over you and I think it's a book that is best consumed in one sitting if possible because you can just fully immerse yourself in this world, you let yourself fall under the spell of this novel and you experience the whole thing for what it's worth. I could also see some people having problems with 
the way this book is ended because it doesn't end the way you think it's going to. And I feel like the ending is more concrete <laughs> than the rest of the book. But overall, I really enjoyed it a lot. I would highly, highly, highly recommend this book to everyone. I think that if you're someone who's watching my channel and you like the content that I make and the books that I talk about, you're going to like Exit West by Mohsen Hamid. It is very timely, but it's also very timeless. And I think it's worth picking up 100%. So yeah, those are my quick thoughts on Exit West by Mohsen Hamid. It's a fantastic book. I know a bunch of you guys picked it for your book of the month package this month. So definitely leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys thought of it. Also, if you haven't picked up a copy of this yet and you would like one for free, I'm giving a copy away. If you head over to my book of the month unboxing video, I'm giving away a copy of Exit West and I'm also giving away a copy of The Reluctant Fundamentalist by Mohsen Hamid. Um, there are two different giveaways for that and I will be picking the people for that giveaway at the end of the month. So definitely check out that video if you haven't already and enter the giveaway if you haven't already because again, this is a book I feel like everyone should just read. It's so good. It's really short and it's really, really beautifully written. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.